Okay, now I'm going to talk about our ringless voicemail messages. So, like text messages, um, ringless voicemail messages cost one credit, right? It'll deduct from your credits up here at the top uh, for every successful drop. So, if a message isn't successfully dropped to a person's cell phone, there will be no charge. So it would only be dropped to mobile numbers and uh, mobile numbers that uh, are obviously, you know, have reception or in service and don't have full mailboxes and things of that sort. So you'll find the ringless voicemail uh, menu over here on the left underneath text messages and email. And you basically have three sub menus. The first is direct RBM. And that's where you can uh, type in a person's name and we'll do Greg test right and you could type in Sue and basically it's just sending a message to one or, or more people up to a hundred people um, and basically you have to select them one by one now you have these record buttons so you could record a message, pause it, continue recording, stop it, listen to it, um, or you could upload a MP3 or um, a WAV file or other forms of audio. You just need to make sure, however you do this, that it is less than one minute talk time and uh, less than 10 meg audio file if you're uploading. Now, um, once you have your message here, I mean, you could even upload a professional, professionally done message if, if you would like. Um, now, right here, you can leave, this is your caller ID. This is the, the call back number, the number that shows up when they see a missed call or when they get that voice message left on their cell phone. Uh, what number shows up? This is called your caller ID number. Now this could be a uh, landline, it could be your mobile number, it could be a Google Voice uh, number that you have set up. Um, typically people don't want to put their mobile number because a lot of times uh, if people know your mobile number, they'll see a missed call from you and they'll immediately call you back without listening to your message. So um, if, if you leave it blank, the default will the system will pick one of your text P2P numbers to show up as the caller ID field. Now you can leave the scheduled date blank and just hit send and it will be sent immediately or you can schedule uh, a partic particular date and time for the message to be sent. Um, and, and that's it. As soon as it's sent, it, it may take uh, up to 15 minutes uh, to be delivered, but it will be immediately sent. The other thing that you can do is click on RVM campaigns, and a campaign is similar to a, uh, a text list campaign. So uh, it's basically the RVM is going out to an entire list you can click on the create ringless voicemail campaign you can name the campaign um, this is a test and you're the only person that sees the name obviously and you can select the list that you want it to go to uh, you can further filter it by tags just like text messages again you can record your message uh, let's see if i can download Downloads. Do I have any messages? Here's one. How about this one? So I could upload it here or I could record. This is a recording. Testing one, two, three. Stop. I could listen to it, play it back. Um, so either you want to record or upload one or the other because I recorded afterwards. I replaced the one that I uploaded. Um, and again, you could set your caller ID, you could set a date and time or leave it blank. Um, you have the options of saving it and coming back and continuing to edit it later. You can test it, which will send a message just to the account holder's cell phone. 
Um, and again, a test could take you know about 15 minutes before it actually uh, shows up. Um, or you can just send you know slash schedule if you have a, a date and time here, it would uh, schedule it. And um, it's uh, literally that easy. So watch if I do a if I schedule this for five o'clock and I hit send schedule, it'll say it will be sent at you know 1700. Now, but what I can do is I can click back to go back to the campaign and I can now see it's been added to my list, right? It's, uh, it's in a pending status. I can see it's going to eight recipients. I could click on the campaign name if I wanted to edit it uh, again, um, but uh, you know, pretty much uh, it is uh, you know done at this point, right? It's it's just pending, waiting to go out, and after it's been sent, like these, you can actually click on the recipient, and you can see like. Was it successfully delivered or did it fail? Like in these cases, see these failed because they were sent to a, uh, a non-mobile number. So it'll tell you that they failed and therefore you weren't charged for them. So that's um, ringless voicemail. And of course you can also do ringless voicemails as part of workflows, which we'll cover in another section. So if you have any questions or issues, feel free to contact tech support at, at well, support at techspeedp.com. Thanks.